So, image, tell me about <laughs> what changed that's so very practical, very functional. Even when you were going out, it was just... I thought I was looking, basically, when I was trying to be really adventurous, Yeah, it was, it was kind of still semi-reserved. I'd wear right. a pair of high heels when I was going okay. out. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. and on occasion I'd put on a dress. Okay. But most of the time it was the high heels thing, mm -hmm. and I'd let my hair down. Okay. okay. <laughs> that was my going out. Yeah. Um, Makeup? Um, no, no, no. no. Okay. I didn't know how to apply it, if I'm honest with you. Mm. And I just thought, well, if I don't know how to do it, I look like a clown, so just leave it alone. <laughs> Forget about Rather it. Rather than learning how to apply it, <laughs> yeah. I just left it, left it alone. Okay. So yeah, my clothes were very, very just regular. There was nothing exciting about them, mm. though. Um, when I looked in my wardrobe to find things to, for image change, mm. there were items that were there. Yeah. I just, you know, you push them to one side, oh, I wouldn't be wearing that again. Oh, I can't wear that. Oh, that's inappropriate or something like that, yeah. basically. So yeah, my clothes were just very, very boring. Yeah, because one of the exercises that I gave is that it's not going out buying new clothes or anything. It'd be like, go shopping in your wardrobe. It's very mm. simple because you probably know this already, we usually wear 20% of our clothes and the rest just remain hanging there. So the first step is always go shopping in your wardrobe and see what's there. See what you could, what you feel more drawn to now if you were to be, well someone's going to be much more expressive because you don't know Zonny but she's a very creative person and that part of your personality wasn't shining in your clothes. Mm. So I just wanted that to come out more as well as her femininity and her very obvious, wonderful curves. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so you went looking in your wardrobe first yeah. of all. Yeah, and then I found some things that I'd forgotten about, mm. things that I thought, well, could I really wear that? Is it appropriate to wear? Yeah. Things that I would think, oh, maybe save it for a wedding. <laughs> yeah. Or save, save that for a party. Special occasions. Special occasions, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then it's like, no, you can actually wear that to your workplace. Yeah. It's not a problem. Mm. Go, oh, it's a bit dressy for work. <laughs> you know, again, is it really practical? Yeah. You know, but mm. yeah, so I, I did find clothes in my wardrobe. I, I do admit I did find clothes. And because I didn't really shop very often, mm. once a year, shoes on a regular basis, I like shoes. Yeah. But for the clothing, maybe once a year. Okay. So it was, it was a good thing that I was able to see what was in my wardrobe, see what I needed to, to get to complement what was in my wardrobe. Yeah. And so, tell the viewers what it was like when you started to change how how you looked. You know, what comments did you get? People were people. My work colleagues were saying, "Oh, you look really nice. Oh, you're going somewhere nice. Have you lost weight? Have you lost weight? That was a big question. This is what, this is what always happens when you like... when you really dress in a way that's really flattering. <laughs> hmm. You look slimmer. It's yeah. always one of the comments that come out. Which I, yeah. I was really surprised. I was like, no, not at all. Yeah. I thought I might have put on some, but people were asking if and I had. And you were getting yeah. a lot of like... Yeah, a lot of that. <laughs> a yeah. lot of comments yeah. then. It's like people, yeah. people started to pay attention. Yes, they did. People noticed you. Yes. And men started to notice you. I know some men at the workplace started to Yes, they you. did. Yeah. Some people made made comments about, oh, we're at a function. It's like, oh, get my picture taken with you. It'll, it'll increase my street cred. Okay. <laughs> On, in in the workplace yeah. and so you know this never happened no, to, I mean, no. I was always nothing. liked yeah but never in that I was just that Zonia yeah never oh yeah um, you look really cool today you look really pretty those kind of words would never come mm. out of people's mouths and what was it like to you know to receive compliments like it was, that it was unusual to start with <laughs> yeah and a, a long time ago, I'd learnt to take compliments mm. very well. So I thought, well, this is all coming back again. Take mm. the compliments, smile and say thank you. And what did it feel like? Did nice. You, did you... It felt good. Yeah. It felt yeah. good. It felt, this is working. <laughs> yeah. It felt like this is working. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's great. And we also looked a little bit about makeup and, you know, it's not about you having to, for any female, any woman to kind of like shovel makeup on the face or anything like that and I often don't wear makeup perhaps lipstick and stuff so it's not about that but it's like making the most of yourself making mm. you out your best self and who would that be so it starts to experiment a little bit more yeah with makeup yeah and... yeah and it was, which was fun yeah. first of all it was a challenge yeah and then finding out the things that suited even just regular grooming 
yeah. one would say so it becomes mm. the norm yeah. and it was it was nice it was fun it made me feel girly hmm yeah mm. it did make me feel girly mm. which was something i'd never really bothered about before yeah so so let's can we say then feeling more feminine more flirtatious more expressive what about sex got to touch on the subject of sex what about feeling sexy again and feeling huh you know, who would I like to play with? What about <laughs> well, that? Well, yeah, I mean... was Because it, it wasn't there, let's be honest. No, it, there was nothing. That, was, that wasn't even there, was no, it? No, it wasn't even, it wasn't even in my mind. Just gone. 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 <laughs> gone. Not even in my mind. No, yeah. <laughs> So, so then you know when you're when you're when you're on the dating scene mm. and people are saying, "Hey, sexy," it's like, "Oh, hello!" You get yeah. chatted up in the street. Yeah, people were smiling at me and would t- talk to me, which yeah. never happened and before. Well, I there's one guy who approached you in the street where you live, a younger guy. Oh yes, so I forgot, forgot about him. him. I yeah. remember. Yes, <laughs> uh, yeah, I had not seen him oh, since high school, I think. <laughs> Since high school and he was like and he was like yeah wow proper like and i was like oh hello and she was really nice made me feel good yeah and even really men good. from the past who may have found her on facebook i think naming names yeah. of course who random as yeah that you've worked with and then suddenly it's like yeah and i was very surprised <laughs> very very surprised i'm not surprised but... <laughs> i was surprised yeah yeah, yeah. and yeah and that doesn't happen to me Mm. Well, it hadn't happened to me in the past five years. Let's yeah. say that anyway. The past five years, it hadn't happened yeah. to me. Prior, prior to all this, it wasn't an unusual thing. Mm. But prior to doing the boot camp, that five-year period, mm. there was nothing like that. Mm. So it was, it, it was unusual. Yeah. And it was surprising, but it felt great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. It felt great. <laughs> and that's the main thing. It's just really about feeling you feel good. good about yourself. Yeah feeling good and then when you do feel great you want to just talk to people Mm. engage with people and have more fun and life just gets better (laughs) life just gets better so obviously a part of the boot camp is like online dating so we had Zonia go on a couple of online dating sites Mm -hmm. and so um she's never done it before so I gave very clear um guidance on that you know about type of pictures to put on there, the type of profile to put on there, and also how to communicate with with the opposite sex, because yeah. that was one of the main reasons why Zonia came to, to see me to do this program, was to learn how to communicate better, because she felt that was an area that you didn't think that you were... I didn't good. think I was very good at, at all. Right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what was that like, briefly, about starting online dating? <laughs> it was a little frustrating to start with because I didn't know how to communicate with the opposite sex mm. very well. I didn't think I did. Mm. So I thought it was a bit bit frustrating. They don't understand what I mean. I'm just asking this. I'm just asking that. Mm. So that was a bit weird. Yeah. But over time, as time had progressed, it became easier. Yeah. It became... It became straightforward. Yeah, and why do you think it became straightforward? Because I followed the principles of what you taught yeah. me. Okay. And following those instructions, and then everything kind of, it was all this to start with, mm. and then it leveled out. Mm. And I thought, oh, okay, right, I'm getting this now, I'm understanding it now. Mm. I'm understanding what they mean as well. Yeah. Not just them understanding it, I knew, understood what they meant. Yeah. And it was fine, there's no problems. I was getting the dates, going out on several dates. Mm. It, it was good. Mm. It was mm. good. It was mm. a good challenge. Yeah. And it was a good experience. Mm. 